Hi there, this is Vivs here. In this video, we are going to talk about the break statement in Java. And as it says over here, the loop was supposed to run 10 times, but when it reached 5, you got bored and said give me a break. That is roughly what the break statement does. So let's take a look at the three different uses of a break statement. We have already seen how to use it in a switch statement. Now there are two other users, one of them being to exit loops prematurely and the third one being to exit nested loops which will be covered in the next video when we talk about code. So let's take a look at the switch statement once again and see what break does here. So I have a variable called day is zero and I try to switch the different values of day. If it is zero, then print it's a Sunday. If it's one, print it's a Monday. If it's two, print it is a Tuesday and so on. If you guess the output, the output is going to be all three of them because there is no break statement written anywhere, which means it starts at the top where it matches the first case and then goes all the way through the switch, plowing everything in the process. But if you added a break, this is what will happen in the same example. There is Sunday, you put a break after that and you wrote Monday, added a break appropriately. The output is just going to be Sunday. Because right here, when it encounters the first case, it matches with the case and it exits out of the switch. The same way you can exit out of a loop as well. In this case, let's say we have a for loop that loops from i 0 to 9. We print the value of i in each iteration and then we have an if statement here where we say if i is 3, then we write break and put a semicolon and then we close the if condition and then we close our for loop. What do you think this does? It will run when i is 0, when i is 1, when i is 2, but when i is 3, the break statement will quit the for loop and that means no more output after this. This means you're prematurely exiting the for loop without running all the iterations. And that's exactly the use of a break statement in for while and do while. Let's take a look at the same example while we are using a while loop. So here we have print statement inside the while loop and we check the same thing by saying i is 3 then break and we increase the value of i to avoid the infinite loop and the output is going to be the same. It runs till the value of i becomes 3 and then it stops. So hopefully you guys have understood something about the break word in this video. As part of the Googleables, be sure to search for these terms on Google and read about them from Stack Overflow and other relevant websites. In the next video, I will show you how to play with the break statement in IntelliJ. In the meantime, thanks for watching and have a nice day.